This video covers replacing the top cover gasket for Lucas CAV type injection pumps, such as those found on Perkins diesel engines. This gasket can deteriorate over time to the point of leaking several gallons of fuel per hour. First shut off fuel to the engine, including overflow returns if they are present. Remove the throttle and fuel shutoff cables and remove the nuts and actuator arms from the shafts. Remove the hold down nuts and as you carefully begin to lift off the cover, push down on the throttle shaft until it is free coming out the bottom of the cover. Note the location of the throttle return spring in the arm of the throttle actuator. This is important. Clean the mating surfaces of the pump and the cover. You'll need a CAV parts kit that includes the gasket and O-rings. Install new O-rings on the throttle shaft and the fuel shutoff shaft. A vise comes in handy here. Only two O-rings are in, on each shaft even though there are three grooves. Install the new gasket with the tabs in the gasket sliding into the spaces next to the studs. Locate the fuel shutoff arm on the top of the gasket so, so that it is touching the close stud. Insert the fuel shutoff shaft into the cover plate, orienting it as it is in the photo. Replace the dust cap on top of the shaft. Install the actuator arm with its nut on top of the shaft. Begin to lower the cover onto the pump and push the throttle shaft up into position in the hole in the cover. This is the tricky part. As the cover is lowered, line up the fuel shutoff pin into the shutoff arm slot. This is critical in order to be able to shut off the engine. Just before the cover is all the way down, you'll be able to see and verify that the shutoff lever is uh, engaging in the slot of the shutoff fuel shutoff arm. Install the sealing washers on top of the studs, tighten the nuts, and attach control cables. Purge the air from the system, and you should be ready to go. I hope this has been helpful.